So I will call the let's see, <coughs> January 9th meeting of the Alton Budget Committee meeting to order. We'll start with the Pledge of Allegiance, please. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, Patrick O'Brien. Peter Levitt. Beth Varney. Bob Holt. John Markland. Reuben Wentworth. Approval of the agenda. Make a motion to approve the agenda as written. Second. Motion by John, second by Beth. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? All right. New business? He has anything? We'll move on to approval. Or, I'm sorry, old business. Wow, skipped right over. 2021 articles, <laughs> review and recommend. Um, so, I believe all of us, with the exception of uh, Mr. Levitt, were um, at the Monday meeting where we went over these with the selectmen. Um, so, as you'll notice, there aren't a whole lot of department heads in the audience. Um, so, we'll work through these, and basically, we just need to give our, our recommendation or it's approval. Recommendation. It's approval, right? We don't approve foreign articles, we just recommend them. Recommend. Or not recommend. Okay. So um, we will start off with. Our Actually, Pat, can I just sure. clarify? Yeah. Because I wasn't here at the meeting on Monday. Uh, should I be abstaining? Or. No. And I've gone over the foreign <laughs> articles. I've yeah, looked at them no, and I've read them. The Monday meeting was um, more so um, a justification. A lot of the department heads were here. We sat with the selectmen so that we, we could hear conversations back and forth. We kind of missed that piece last year. So we didn't Excellent. know a lot of the justifications behind them. But hopefully if there are any questions, um, maybe Ruben or um, a couple of the department heads that are in the audience will be able to All clear right, cool. it up. Great. Thank you. Sure thing. Uh, so we'll start right out with Article A, Benefit Co Pay Expendable Trust. Make a motion to approve Article A as written. It does not need to be read because it's not a public hearing. Okay. At the public hearing, it will be need, need to be read, okay. though. Does everybody in the audience, audience have a copy of this? Would you like a copy? Yeah. So that way you can... I got mine from my packet anyways. Okay, okay. perfect. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. <coughs> we're gonna we're gonna go and not read them. At least he can follow along. Anybody else need one? You want one? It, yeah. Next one here. Yep. Yeah, we're good. Thank you. Um <coughs> I have I have all of these. That's okay, now. I've got these. <laughs> From the other night. <coughs> I'll get these from the other Look night. At so. Beth. Nice. All right. So there is a motion by John on the floor. I'll second. Second by Ruben to recommend Article A. Twenty-five thousand dollars for the benefit pay expendable trust. Further discussion. Call to a vote. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's one. You got one left. <laughs> one and O. It was or no, o? six, six, O, oh, and one. Dave's not here. Oh, that would that he doesn't count. Oh, so it just it doesn't count? Oh. Okay, perfect. Count. All right, perfect. So it would be a six. No one would. Fair enough. Okay, Article B, operating budget. Make a motion to recommend Article B as written. Second. Discussion. Article B. Call to a vote. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Opposed. <coughs> Good there, Carolyn? Yep. Okay. Article C. New Riverside Cemetery Engineering. <coughs> Make a motion to recommend Article C as written. Second. Further discussion? Those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? To zero. Mm -hmm. 
Article D, Fire Department Equipment Capital Reserve. Make a motion to recommend Article D as written. No second. Further discussion? Those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Article E, Fire Department Ladder Truck. Make a motion to recommend Article E as written. Motion by John. Second. Second by Peter. Further discussion? Hearing and seeing none. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Article, <coughs> Article F, Grounds and Maintenance Vehicle Equipment Capital Reserve. Make a motion to recommend Article F as written. Motion by John. I'll second it. Further discussion? Those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Opposed. Correct. Article G, Highway Department Equipment Capital Reserve. Make a motion to recommend Article G as written. Motion by John. Second. Second by Peter. Further discussion? Uh, Mr. Chairman? Sure. Just a short note. I'd like to... Uh, <clears throat> I believe, if I'm not mistaken, there's a balance of 553000 on that account. No? Uh, that's what I reported Monday night using yeah. the sheet that was effective as the end of November. Um, Laura has a more updated sheet. Is it the highway department equipment? No. Yes. Highway department equipment capital reserve fund. Currently, after the end of this year, there's fifty nine thousand six hundred and sixteen dollars and sixteen cents. How much was that again? Fifty-nine thousand? Sixty-nine. Fifty-nine. Fifty-nine. Yeah. Okay. Six hundred and sixteen and sixteen cents. Okay. Thank you. Further discussion on Article G. All to a vote. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. <coughs> Article H, Highway Road Construction Capital Reserve. Make a motion to recommend Article H as written. Motion by John. I'll second that. For the discussion on Article H. Yeah, that was, <coughs> I'd like, uh, Mr. Chairman? Yeah. Uh, What's the balance on that account? I, I believe it's uh, 553000 Correct. Correct? Yep. Uh, <coughs> so it's, it's 950 plus two, 201, right? That's what the, it, the total amount will be. No, 950000 be all that it will be. Well, what's the 201? 201 is just showing that there'll be a, the what will be reimbursed, what will be given to the town in lieu of the uh, from the gas tax that comes to us, and what it will do is that will go right into the general fund. It can't go in the highway road reconstruction fund. So basically, in essence, we're getting that 201. Even though we're raising 950, the revenues coming in will only show that we've only spent 750 thousand. Okay, is there any limitations on the grant? That's a block grant, what it can be expended for. DOT has advised me that it can be used for whatever the selectmen would want to use it on, such as a public way. 
bridge, bike path, sidewalk, road. Can it be used to uh, uh, town hall building maintenance, for example? No, no. I don't believe so. Do not believe it can. So the 201000 is going to go right into the general fund. It won't go to the road reconstruction fund. All the money goes in the general fund. That's right. <laughs> and then it's expended out. But so basically, it can only be used for road work. And basically, from my understanding, this block grant replaced the old TRA grant, which probably not many people know what it is here. But what does TRA stand for? Uh, I ain't quite sure, but it was used for uh, roads. Okay. And it was the state used to pass it out. That's what they do now. And it's basically for the roads, and that's why it's in this account. So it's part of the road reconstruction. It gives you 1151 up front to play with roads with no road plan. And you got fit, you, I mean, you got a half a million left, so you're up to right now one million seven hundred and four thousand dollars if this all passes with no plan, no plan whatsoever. We just, I can't support that. I support fixing our roads. But you have to have some kind of a plan. I can't approve people's tax dollars not knowing where they're going. No plan, I can't approve it. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Further discussion, Article H. <clears throat> Call to a vote. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Opposed. <coughs> Article I, Highway Sand Shed Capital Reserve Fund. Make a motion to recommend Article I as written. Second. Motion by John, second by Peter. Further discussion, Article I. Uh, Mr. Chairman? Uh, this I have a problem also rec uh, voting for this article is Again, there's no plan. The only justification I've received for putting the money in this account is to appease the state of New Hampshire. Evidently, at some time, they've questioned us possibly doing some contamination and so forth of the watershed down in that area. Uh, if this is that serious a problem, we should have a plan. When, where, and what we're going to construct. And to the best of my knowledge, there is no plan, a blueprint or anything else, or where we're going to put it. I've also been, I investigated it a little with Kenny, and he told me there really wasn't a good place down there to put it. So, I don't know. I just can't support something just every year we give $10,000 to, and we have no plan to build one. We, we should. We should have a plan to build one, and we should address that issue. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Further discussion? Article I. Call to a vote. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Opposed. <coughs> Article J, Bridge Construction Capital Reserve Fund. Make a motion to recommend Article J as written. Second. Motion by John. Second by Ruben. For the discussion. Article J. Um, Mr. Wentworth. Thank you for that respect, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I'll catch on eventually. Oh, that's all right. Still fairly young. Ruben's fine. Further discussion, Article J. Call to a vote. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion's approved. 
Article K, Highway Building Improvements and Repair, Capital Reserve Fund. Make a motion to recommend Article K as presented. Second. Motion by Mr. Marklin, second by Mr. Wentworth. Further discussion on Article K. Call to a vote. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion's approved. Article L, Highway Sidewalk Capital Reserve <clears throat> Fund. Make a motion to recommend Article L as written. I'll second. <clears throat> the discussion on Article L. Call to a vote. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <clears throat> Article M, Alton Bay Community Center Property Capital Reserve Fund. Make a motion to recommend Article M as written. Mm, I'll second. Motion by Mr. Marklin, second by myself. Further discussion, Article M. Call to a vote. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion's approved. Article N, Milfoil Capital Reserve Fund. Make a motion to recommend Article N as a written. Second. Motion by Mr. Marklin, second by Mr. Holt. Further discussion on Article N. To a vote, those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion's approved. <coughs> Article O, Landfill Closure Capital Reserve Fund. Make a motion to recommend Article O as written. I'll second. Further discussion on Article O. Call to a vote. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Article P, Solar Array, or I'm sorry, we don't vote on yeah. this one, correct? No, 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 it's not a money no. article. Correct. <clears throat> Move on to Article Q, Master Plan Consultant. I move we accept that. Recommend it. Recommend it. Motion by Excuse Mr. Me. Holt. Second. Second by Mr. Marklin. Discussion. Call to a vote. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Article R. Town Hall Building Improvements Capital Reserve Fund. Make a motion to recommend Article R as written. Motion by Mr. Markland. Oh, second. Second by Mrs. Varney. Further discussion. Call to a vote. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Article S. Town Hall, second floor lift. Make a motion to recommend Article S as written. I'll second. second. Motion by Mr. Marklin, second by Mrs. Varney. Further discussion. Mr. Chairman, uh, I know this was discussed a little the other night. Uh, this is a, a multi-year one. You know, we're putting the money away possibly till the year 2024. It's more or less a... Uh, I don't know why this can't appear in the actual Town Hall Building Improvements Capital Reserve Fund. Or why it shouldn't have. But... And it's also, the way it's written, they're going to take the money out of the surplus account. Am I right or wrong? I'll, I'll defer the fund to balance, the town yes. administrator. And this was the same account that a selectman at a selectman's meeting took money out to offset the tax rate. And that evening, the town administrator made it clear that we were on the borderline of keeping the reserve at a certain percentage, which is recommended by the state of New Hampshire, DRA. <coughs> I'm 
Now, <coughs> here we're trying to take some more money out of that same reserve. Well, from what I understand, this is to replace the lift here and now, not in the future, um, because it's a here and now issue. It, correct me if I'm wrong. That is correct, because the moment the lift breaks down, we no meetings can be held on the second floor because we will be violating ADA regulations. No one handicapped will be able to come upstairs. So this particular RSA 32 colon 7 Roman numeral 6 allows you five years to use this money. It's not a savings account with so much each year goes into it. It just allows you to use it at five years. If you don't, it goes, goes back into the general fund. I understand that. Mr. Chairman, but why don't we put this in the capital account for next year? That's my question. Why was it done this way? So the reason it was proposed this year is because of the urgency to replace that lift out there that goes from the first floor to the second floor. It is at least 30 years old. The parts are no longer made for it. Uh, it breaks down regularly. The vendor has said it has gone years beyond its in, um, life normal expectancy. Yeah. So if, if we wait another year and then it breaks down during that year, we'll be in trouble with having a handicap accessible large meeting room. Well. If it broke down, if this one article isn't approved by the people, and that does break, are you going to sit here and tell me we don't, this town can't afford to pay $50,000 to get that fixed? If the town doesn't approve it, we'd probably end up going to the trustees of the trust fund and asking for 50000 from the Clough Moral Trust Fund. Yeah. Because that can be used on any maintenance or equipment well, for town building. Okay. So... And I've also seen the town last uh, this year uh, fund some pay raises without it being in the budget also. So, again, I have to vote against this, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Further discussion? Yeah, I just add one more thing to what he said earlier about putting in the town hall building improvements cap reserve fund. That cap reserve fund for the town hall, the $14,000, is being set aside for the water suppression system for this room here and downtown hall because the fire department, fire marshal's office in Concord and our fire chief here has come through and said, we really, really can't hold meetings up here once we hit the 50 people max because there's no water suppression system. So we've been putting $14,000 away for the last two years, I believe. Yes. Uh, to build up that fund so we can get this done and we're showing the fire marshal's office that we're trying to put money aside to do something. I think in neighborhood that cost that project's going to run about $140,000. 150, excuse me, $10,000 off again. I think I said 140 Monday night too. But right now in the Cloughmore Trust Fund, we did find out from Dave St. Cyr is $185,000 in there. If we use that $140,000, that would leave us nothing for anything that came up on town hall. So the reason we didn't use the eighty the fifty thousand out of that is we I myself looked at it that it's for major needs of the town hall. It's not for something that we could afford in one year and get do away with. So I understand where you're coming from, Bob, but it's it's just something that needs to be done so we stay compliant. Where are we at with the fund balance now? fund balance now I think when we set the tax rate back at um, no, no, when it got when we used it I think it brought it down to somewhere around 350 355 was left in the fund balance yep. we set the tax rate I think there's a little more more than that it was around two yeah I, I think there's a little more than that in there so we're still within that percentage range but we're on the lower end of the percentage range and I'd like to see it higher end of the percentage range myself. When is the plan to actually put in the fire suppression system? 
Pardon? When, when are we planning on actually installing the fire suppression system? When we have the money saved up in the capital reserve fund through the CIP program. It's going to take a while. There's right now it would be 11 years if you're putting $14,000 a year away. Well, I mean, <laughs> we're kind of in the same boat with the fire suppression system as we are with the elevator. If, if Technically, we're not supposed to be having meetings in here with a, with a large group of people. Um, Correct, unless we bring in extra firemen to stand at each exit. <laughs> <laughs> well, well we're, we're all good. The, um, <laughs> there's only one exit, too, right? Something. That doesn't mean it either. <laughs> well, two exits. You got one there, one there. That's good. That's good. The, um, the chairman of the trustees of the trust funds has, has indicated to me in the past that um, most likely some funds could come from the Clough Moral Fund down the road you know when we're getting closer to a decent amount in the capital reserve fund and so hopefully that 11 years can be shortened up a little bit yep. but it's we like um, it won't be like the sand shed <laughs> yeah. unfortunately a few of these articles in there hit that surplus fund yeah that's the unfortunate part All right, further discussion, Article S. Call to a vote. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Opposed. Motion's approved. Thank you. <laughs> Article T. IT Capital Reserve Fund. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion to recommend Article T as written. Second. Motion by Mr. Marklin. Second by Mr. Wentworth. Discussion. Article T. Call to a vote. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Article U, GIS, Geographical Information System, Expenses. Recommend Article U as presented. Make a motion. Sorry. Problem. Second. Motion by Mr. Marklin. Second by Mr. Levitt. Further discussion. Article U. Call to a vote. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? These three more. Do not see. I think X will be the next one. Yes. Article X Water Main Expense Capital Reserve Fund. Make a motion to recommend Article X as written. Second. Motion by Mr. Marklin, second by Mr. Holt. Further discussion? Those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion's approved. Article Y, Water Band Stand Maintenance and Repair Capital Reserve Fund. Make a motion to recommend Article Y as presented. Second. Motion by Mr. Marklin, second by Mr. Holt. Further discussion? Call to a vote. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion's approved. Article Z, Bay Dock Work. Make a motion to recommend Article Z as presented. Motion by Mr. Marklin. I'll second. Further discussion? Chairman. Stolt? Uh, after reading this all over in the discussion the other night, <coughs> again, I have some problems with this project. Uh, I, I don't know. I haven't seen any plans. It's kind of vague what's written here. There's, if we got monies left, there'll be another finger docked or whatever. Uh, 
This is a project in the bay, very similar to our bandstand we had out in the water bandstand, <coughs> and Harmony Park. Now, the Harmony Park one turned out to be a disaster, in my opinion. It's not done yet, but I never saw any plants today. <coughs> Uh, and that was done by the town. Uh, the bandstand was done by the town, but a private or a separate committee made up of citizens in town. And I thought that project come out very well. But this one, again, I, I don't know what they're going to do there. And this is the taxpayer's money. And I got, and we're, we, the justification sheet in the back, this was brought up, I think, by Dave the other night. You know, I look at it, it's in red letters, and does, will any of the public see this? Because it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense to me. We got a subtotal of $80,400, and we got a Shibley's portion of minus four thousand five hundred in it and then it's got a total cost to taxpayers of eighty thousand four hundred again uh, the rationale was given to me but it doesn't I, I don't see what it's on there for it's already been up top Shibley's portion of four thousand five hundred thirty thousand four hundred for the main project and the other permitting and product cost for banking. Uh, I didn't ask that question the other night because I didn't know what it was. What is the product cost for banking? Does anybody know? Do not know yet. That was just an estimate that was given. Ms. Rochelle met with um, one of the Saki Marine Construction to go over some of these details of what the dock, what platform dock was going to be, the finger docks, what it could possibly cost. Whether or not it's retaining wall going up there or concrete forms put in to make a concrete banking, do not know. Or this could even go out. One of the soccer marine construction wouldn't be the one doing it. would have to go out to bid and try to get in all impossible bids that we could from different marine companies that could stabilize that banking and do the docks and the platform by Shibley's by the pier. That's just an estimate of what might have to go into that banking to be done to bring it back to, so it's safe. So, so again, <coughs> we're asked for eighty thousand dollars. Yes. Without really knowing what we're going to do or what we got. Most, most of the money that's we going into it is cost of the product banking, stabilizing that banking. Right now, we couldn't walk down those stairs. The railing's <laughs> gone. The plans will have to be drawn up during the springtime once the money is approved. This is what it's being estimated to cost. Whether it does or not, we don't know yet. We did not go out and do plans. We did not have time because this came in at the last minute. So we asked the company to come down and say, what would, what would be an estimated cost of redoing this, shoring up the banking, replacing the um, crib dock that's down there at Shibley's now, and running uh, finger docks over to the other public docks to connect all of them together in one string. And this is what they came up with. Now, they didn't tell us, I didn't see where they told us it was either going to be a block wall like on Harmony Park, a stone wall to refix all that up, uh, redo it with granite stairs, concrete stairs. I think right now it's concrete stairs that goes down the sides there with two walls that go alongside of it. So that's deteriorating. Also, the, digging into the bank, you get the poison ivy out of there because it was so overgrown yeah. last year, poison ivy. We, had to, we went and cut it back and killed it, but it doesn't mean we killed the roots. Well, this, Mr. Chairman, this all sounds well, sounds good, but how many how many parks sounded good to me when we were going to do it originally? And I saw what came out there. Never saw a plan for it. I don't think there were any. I don't know. Uh, I've a project like this. I think you should. It should be money should be asked to in, have it engineered and looked at. And then a plan is done and brought before the people, the different committees, and it's approved. And you know what you're getting. Right now, we don't know. I have no idea what's going to... 
One right now. We have to. We have to. We have to replace that platform dock that's down there. It is in a hazardous condition. If we do not fix it, we will probably tape it all off, block it off next year, and nobody can use it. Well, where's the management in the town? This should have been taken care of before. You don't wait for we, we, Bob. Well, I understand that, but it, this came to light. I'm I'm not a water person. I don't go down on the boats. I don't go down on those that dock, that section of the dock. This all came to light during the water ski show, and then as the summer went on, we backed out, went back down, inspected it, and the store shell got in the water, went underneath. I think even Mr. Roberts got down, went underneath the dock too. I saw the underpinning. Then this is how it came about here at this point. But that one platform we have to take care of. That's part of our agreement in the lease with the Shibleys. They're responsible for part of it, but we're also part of it because that's town land and you got people walking down there. So I'm not saying this is the perfect way. I don't know what happened to the full management of this, but there's just like other aspects of the town, which we're trying to work on with the town administrator now, trying to get these things corrected. Bob, Thank you. I just wanted to explain um, a couple of quick little things about this um, to you in regards to that the red portion there on your sheet. So the Shibley's restaurant, um, they lease the land from us and they are responsible for 10 feet around the entire structure that's called the curtilage. So that 10 feet does go out over 10 feet of that dock, which is in very poor condition. And the, the amount that they would be responsible for paying to the town for their 10 feet when the work is done would be the 4,500. So at, down at the bottom, I probably need to reword the words total cost to taxpayers possibly but we have to do gross base budgeting we're requi required to do that by the DRA and so the total cost for the project would be 80,400 and then the restaurant would pay us the 4500 which is their share of the work project and then that would go that would show up in the revenue um, on the revenue report in the general fund we, I, I wasn't able to deduct the 4,500 from the 80,400 because we have to appropriate the full amount, just like with the road reconstruction <coughs> and the big <coughs> block grant. We have to appropriate the full amount and then receive money back. It's an all since it will be 75,900, but the 4,500 will be show as revenue, won't be show as a cost item to replace. Well, if uh, maybe I'm misunderstanding this. If you have five items up top, one, two, three, four, five. If I add those all up, what do I come up with? 80,400. Okay. And now, below that, you put minus 4,000. Minus yes. 4,500. And then you put total cost to taxpayers is 80,400 again. It, I'm sorry. A minus is a minus. I, that's the way it was when Perhaps I Perhaps we could relabel it as a reimbursement, maybe. But I, I completely understand where you're coming from. I brought up the same thing Monday night. Um, I, I, it is. To the average person looking at it, you, we won't all understand it that way. As far as accounting procedures, they understand it that way because that's the way they've been taught to do it, and that's the way DRA wants it done. So all we can do is show Shibley's portion on a separate side is going to say there's going to be a revenue coming in from the Shibley's for $4,500, which will, in essence, wipe out the 4500 but we have to show that as total cost. Well, and maybe instead of a minus sign, can you put it in brackets instead? Yes. To just reference it that it's well, revenue. What, Bob, would you understand that, what the parentheses, the brackets means? You'd understand better if it said 75 well, You've already got it listed up top. Yeah. You've already got it there, Shibley's portion up top, 4500 Right, because that's the cost of the 10 feet that they would be responsible for. We have to budget the full amount. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> Further discussion on Article Z. Call to a vote. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Opposed. Motion is approved. 
Article AA, Old Home Week. Make a motion to recommend Article AA as presented. Second. Motion by Mr. Marklin, second by Mr. Holt. Further discussion? I did make a mention Monday night on this to just put it in the budget. Uh, it's, to my knowledge, it's nothing that's, that's ever not been approved. Um, and every year we kind of go over the, down the same road of all these Warren articles, all these Warren articles. It just it sounded like the board was receptive to your recommendation. Yeah. I just wanted yeah. to. I've already asked Kelly for, next, for the following year's budget to put that in. Gotcha. Fair enough. Under patriotic purposes? Yeah. Maybe that one. Sure. <laughs> or Parks and Rec. I, I asked Parks, Parks and Rec. Rec. Well, it would depend on if you wanted the selectmen to oversee it or Parks and Rec to oversee it. Parks and Rec basically oversees it. Now she sits on the committee for us, Old Home Week Committee, to oversee the expenditures of that committee. He'll figure it out. Fair enough. Further discussion? Hearing a seeing, then we'll call to a vote. Those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion's approved. Okay. Um, we will skip over BB, as I don't believe it uh, pertains to ours. Article CC, Alton Community Services Nonprofit. Uh, yeah. um, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion to approve Article CC all the way through to Article LL as written. You already beat me to it. That's what I was going to do. I say. figured that's what you're going to do, but I figured I'd do what I did the other night. Second. Right. Motion by Mr. Wentworth, second by Mr. Marklins to approve CC through LL. Discussion. Uh, Mr. Chairman? Stoll? Uh, I'm totally against that. Motion. Uh, I believe it should be done individually, as I I have problems, some problems with a couple of these. I know nothing about them, and there's no backup whatsoever for any one of these. Uh, the nonprofits, I don't think we're all that familiar with them all. I'm not. I'm familiar with half of them, we'll say. The other half, I don't know anything about. I can't vote for them. It's, it's my money. Uh, I wouldn't give a contribution to them if I don't know anything about them. Uh, if we if we vote on them all at once, you t I got to vote. I'll have to vote against that. Mo uh, I'll have to vote against it because there's some in there that I can't vote for or vote against. So I don't think that is a wise thing for the town to do. I know it's at the deliberative session sometimes that people get asked questions about them, and I know I have, and I've got no answers at deliberative session, and I still have no answers. Uh, well, I'll resend my motion. Mr. Marklin would consider resending his second. I'll resend my second. I'll make a motion to recommend Article CC as presented. Second. You good with all of that, Carolyn? Thank you. Motion by Mr. Marklin, second by Mr. Wentworth. On Article CC. Discussion. Hearing a seeing none, we'll call it to a vote. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion's approved. Article DD. American Red Cross nonprofit. So moved. Second. Motion by Mr. Me oh, Mr. Wentworth. Second by Mr. Markland. Discussion. Call to a vote. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Opposed. Opposed. Two. Three two. Uh, four to two. Four to two. <coughs> charge the fire department for coffee when they come on a scene. Hmm? They charge the fire department members for coffee when they come oh, on a scene. tell me. <laughs> I got a friend of mine who was in the service. They charged him. All right. That's okay. Article EE. -E, cap nonprofit. Make a motion to recommend Article EE -E is presented. 
Second. Motion by Mr. Marklin, second by Mr. Mo Mr. Wentworth. Discussion. Hearing and seeing none, call to a vote. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Opposed. Article FF. Caregivers of Southern Carroll County and Vicinity Nonprofit. Motion to recommend Article FF as presented. Second. Motion by Mr. Marklin. Second by Mr. Wentworth. Discussion. <laughs> Call to a vote. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Opposed. Article GG. CASA Nonprofit. A motion to recommend Article GG as presented. Second. No matter. Motion by Mr. Marklin. Second by Mrs. Varney. Discussion. Hearing and seeing none, we'll call it to a vote. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion's approved. Article HH, Central New Hampshire VNA and Hospice Nonprofit. Make a motion to recommend Article HH as presented. Second. Motion by Mr. Marklin, second by Mr. Holt. Further discussion? Call to a vote. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Zero motion passes. Article II, Child and Family Services of New Hampshire Nonprofit. Make a motion to recommend Article II as presented. Second. Motion by Mr. Marklin, second by Mrs. Barney. Further discussion? Call to a vote. Those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Opposed. Motion's approved. Article JJ, Lakes Region Mental Health Nonprofit. The motion to recommend Article JJ is presented. I'll second. Motion by Mr. Marklin, second by myself. Further discussion? Is this Genesis? Yes, formerly known as. Formerly, oh, formerly known as. I was wondering where they were. Hearing or seeing no further discussion, we'll call it to a vote. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Opposed. Article KK, Life Ministries Nonprofit. A motion to recommend Article KK is presented. Second. Motion by Mr. Marklin, second by Mrs. Varney. Further discussion? Hearing and seeing none, we'll call it to a vote. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? It's just zero. Article LL, New Beginnings Nonprofit. Make a motion to recommend Article LL as presented. Second. Motion by Mr. Marklin, second by Ms. Varney. Further discussion? Call it to a vote. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Opposed. <coughs> all right. Thank you all. We'll move on to new business again. <laughs> Nobody has anything. Approval of minutes. Make a motion to approve the meeting minutes of December 19, 2019. Thank you and I are the only ones. Can we? Mm, we've been down this yes, road. Yeah. We yes. can do it, okay. correct? Yes. Okay. Aye. <laughs> I'll second. In favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Make a motion to approve the meeting minutes of January 6, 2020. I'll second. Motion by Mr. Marklin, second by Ms. Varney. Discussion? Good with that? 
Which one? Those in eight? favor? This is January sixth. Monday night. Monday night. Selectman's meeting. Uh, yeah. Question. Uh, the minutes contain all the warrant articles, right? Correct. Right. So if we approve the minutes, we're not approving all the warrant articles, are we? No, no because we did, we did and didn't vote on anything in the minutes. Yeah, I know. I was just no. curious how come they were listed. Like, You're just approving no what problem. Was, I just I think approving what was discussed. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. Okay. Other than that, no problem. No, that was a barometer table back way. We snuck it in to get you guys up the boat at six and seven. Well, that's what I was worried about. You know, I know how you select an operator. Oh, 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 that hurt, Bob. That hurt, didn't it? Did it? I didn't feel a thing. Okay, let's move on. Those in favor of approving the January 6th minutes? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain. Okay. Uh, we'll move on to. Did you vote on the other minutes? Yep. It was just we myself did, yes. and John. Yeah, I was going to say. We weren't there, so. Yeah. Well, we have to abstain. I want to be listed as abstaining. I mean, you, you don't have to abstain. You don't have to abstain. You have to, as long as you agree with the, the attorney. Read said them. you don't have to abstain. Oh, I know I don't have to, but I can. Okay, well. Let's recall the vote on the December 19th minutes. Yeah, Motion aye. by Mr. Marklin, second by myself. Those in favor? <coughs> aye. 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 Opposed? And I abstain. I was not here. All righty. We'll move on to number seven, public input. Wait, now we have to do January 6th. Oh, we, do oh, we, we do just that? did January 6th. I abstained on that one because I didn't actually read those. Okay, Carolyn, do you... So it's four to two then, because Ruben abstained as well. Correct. Lauren Carr, uh, on Article C, do we know, um, it says to see if the town will vote to raise appropriate the sum of $50,000 to be added for the purpose. Is this a capital reserve to be added? No. Why um, is to be added? I believe that's something we didn't catch the other night. Okay. So that's just fifty thousand dollars for. Yes, the, sir. Do we have any plans of what they're talking about down there? Basically, Mr. actually, Green. we're asking the engineer to come in to lay out what the what we need for a cemetery. Okay. If I take the land, see basically what we have in there for soils. We know we have some legend there. Uh, right now, I'm sure you've seen it driving home all the time. It kind of looks terrible the way. I keep there. my eyes on the road for. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> but anyways, we know there's some legend there. We tried to get the, tried to get the Army Corps of Engineers incident that used to go to the Daniel Webster camp. Yeah. Uh, the new individual that's running the uh, group over there now really doesn't have want to come out and do things like that anymore. Okay. But I mean, they know. They have an idea they're going to put a road this way they're going to have hopefully when the engineer gets done with it yes okay on e on e uh this is a hundred thousand dollars to the purchase of fire truck is this a capital reserve why isn't it i guess i should have fire truck to see the town raise for this sum to be added to the fire department equipment capital reserve fund yes uh no it doesn't e, say correct that. e oh i'm sorry i was on the e no, e. that that is the ladder truck. That is the ladder truck, which will be coming out of the um, fire department equipment fund capital Re reserve fund. Okay, but are you putting it into a capital reserve, or is it just going to be for what is it? Two years? It's good for you. Right. Purchased. Yeah. If we get the grant from FEMA. Okay. If we don't. If we don't. If we don't. It, we don't touch it. So why wouldn't you put it in a capital reserve? So then, if it comes down the road, isn't it two years you can keep um, the money? For a warrant article? Well, because it's, it's coming out of the undesignated. So what happens if you don't get it in one year? If you raise this money, if you put in a capital reserve, you'd have it available. Because right? the grant is going out now, and hopefully they'll, they'll award the grant in 2020. What happens? Because they're not raising the money. The money's coming out of the Well, we've, we've previously raised it. Previously, yeah. yes. Yeah. Okay, so why wouldn't you put it in a reserve so if we don't get this grant this year, we get it next year, you'd still have the money? We'd have to reapply. Right. For next for 2021, and we'd be putting back the same warrant article. 
So okay, that's so. Why not just do it once? And because put it in then that way, there would be we. If we don't get the grant this year, we leave the money in the fund balance to build that fund balance back up instead of taking money out and putting the capital reserve. Because once it goes in the capital reserve, it can be used for any piece of equipment. Right. So depending on what board of selectmen you have in here, they can say, "Well, we didn't get the ladder trick. Well, let's go buy a new ambulance with it." But if you put it in the capital reserve and it's specifically for a fire truck. To purchase would have to a ladder, sit truck. There, a but ladder you, truck. But if you sat yeah. there and said that it's going to go into the fire department equipment reserve and select as agents to expand it, because it could be spent at that point on anything. No, E. I understand E. Okay, I guess I don't. To be it? used towards the purchase of the ladder truck, said sums come from ex undesignated fund balance, which will not have an impact on the tax rate. The article is contingent upon receiving an award from FEMA. Right. That's what we have. If we don't get the grant, we don't take the money. I understand and that. And then the rationale to it underneath, but if you put that in just to the regular equipment fund, you could use it. Because we sit there and say all the time we want to buy a new truck with it, but we don't buy it. No, I want, I, I'm thinking about establishing a capital reserve ladder, for the ladder truck. truck. Well, then, yes, then we'd have to, if you establish a capital okay. reserve for the ladder it, truck, yes. Well, it's too late to change it now. Okay. Is it legal to move fund balance money into a capital reserve fund? The people have to vote on that. Yeah. So that would be, have to be reworded entirely then. Well, it's this too would have late. To go back to the selectmen. They would have to, you know, rescind their motion. You know, this is a whole. Right. We've already have a legal opinion on this. And Before Mr. Carr keeps going, because I do agree with him on Article C, do we need to amend it, or can you no, just no. scratch the added part? We can. T yeah, that's. This is a draft. So we don't need to revote on that. Nope. No. Because right. he did bring up a good point, and I agree with him. Right. Because you only vote on the money anyways, if we're recommending money, not the way it's written. So the select right. will have to go back and change that well, for you. I, yeah. It's a, it's a gr grammatical error. Legal counsel has always stated if it's just a grammatical error or a punctuation mark or something like just change it. DRA would make us take it out anyway, so. <clears throat> on the X. Um, the one main expense in these two up above it. Which one is that one? Uh, v W X. W X. The waterworks one. Yes, sir. I just uh, my opinion. I think it would be more likely to pass if you put that these were um, ratepayer uh, funded, so people will know that it's not. Even if there's no tax rate, they still may think that everybody in town's paying for these. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. More likely to pass if people realize it's the ratepayers are paying. <clears throat> and Z, the dock work. I know Victoria Pier. We don't own the building. <coughs> and was the dock originally built by the town, or was that built by? Um, the people that own Victoria Pier when they built it. Are we taking over somebody else's work? I got a feeling that they put in those docks that that wasn't the town. The original, the one on the right, I believe the town put in when I was so, a kid. I, I believe so. The ones on the left and in the very front, the original owners did. So we are now taking them over by no, this? Just the oh, one so. on the right hand side. So where they're, where they're walk-in refrigerator unit they put in a few right. years ago, if you go down those steps just to the right there, those old concrete steps, yeah. that platform right there just to the right towards the public docks, the, the boating docks, yeah. that piece right there is what we're going to re be responsible for less 10 feet. Not the 10 feet on, f on the left side too? Not the 10 feet over next to the ramp. No. Right. They're, they're responsible for that 10 feet over there because that's just a walk, paved walkway that goes down by them. And then that little fingertip that goes out, we're responsible for that a little bit except for 10 feet. I don't know. It seems like we're, you know, I'll say Thursday. Next Thursday, right? You have a public meeting. And I see one missing. Yes, you do. 
Is that going to be on, or do I have to get a warrant, a, a petition warrant out of it so <laughs> that was not people can up, speak? That was not brought up to the Slugman's meeting. You make a good point, and I hope that was an overlook on my part, so then maybe you need to get up and speak that. Can you I believe what he's saying is he's asking for it to be any other reports or concerns be heard before this town meeting 2020. 2000, yeah, 2020. It's always at the end of every meeting there was always there any reports from commissions citizens or anything else standard used to be standard has not been so much standard since sb2 mm -hmm. uh, it's not required it by Senate just a very few times it has been on there i'm going to say in the three years i've been on the selectman and lauren's brought it up three years in a row and then even before that even when he was selectman i think he brought it up yeah it got missed one year and so uh, I did a petition article last year, and I thought that would cure the problem, but I guess it won't. Just and I won't have to worry about the school not putting that on, will I? <laughs> Having that article on? <laughs> no, that's always on. It will be on? Just for a point of clarity for me, what does that that's right. warrant that's right. article enable? Because the, the moderator can say that has nothing to do with this article. Has say somebody wants to bring up something. That article allows you to bring up other things that I on these that these are these articles. So a lot of times people would want to talk about other things in the town. That was their that was their forum. That's why I think it's really super important that that, that be allowed. Um, like takes the place of public input. That. To some extent, I understand. <laughs> to some extent, all right. And all my years of going to town meeting. I think maybe out of five times in one year, I saw somebody get up at the end. Of the day and say something. Okay, I do it a lot. Okay. I am not you. All right. <laughs> the best who used to do it, God bless her soul. That's right, and it no, brings up yeah. important things. And it, you Mac know, McDonald even did it a couple of times. Donald McDonald. Yeah, see, there you go now. <laughs> no, it is important. It is important that the town. It's it allows the, the voters, especially our Senate Bill too. It allows the voters to have a forum. To input into the into their uh, representatives, so I can't get you to put that on. No, I no because they can't make one article. So we have to no. select them. Select them. Yeah. yeah well, it's not about privy, but so town administrator. Could, petition. If point of want. order. Uh. Town administrator, <laughs> would you pull the board? Will I? Will you pull the board? Send them an email and let them get back to you. I can Are do you? an informal. Informal. Poll. And we can ratify it at our meeting. You can do an informal one and have it on our agenda for the 20th. Okay. Thank you. Because I believe you did a petition one article last year. But to hear committee reports. That was it. Re re committee and board reports or something like that. I'll second his request. If he did the petition <laughs> article last year. Last year, the petition article. So, I can't remember. Past. And if he's asking to so do the same thing there. this it's year, why wouldn't it be the same as all the others that are just automatically put on? Oh, it was for one year? It wasn't okay, for to be put on to the ballot for every years? year. Every year it was for issuing that it one as a resident. What's it hurt? You have to put it in for eternity. What's it hurt? It doesn't hurt a thing. Uh, when you write it, you have to put on eternity. From, from now until the end of time. Otherwise, or apparently. Okay. Are you doing a petition article or not? Am I going to do one? Yeah. I was going to let the select and save face and put it on automatically. <laughs> <laughs> I think their faces are fine. No, I didn't shave tonight, so maybe. Point of order. Rep so I'll, I'll take that as Rep a no. Yes, uh, I agree. Orders. Anything else for the good of this group? <laughs> Thank you, Lori. I'll entertain a motion. So moved, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> motion by Bob, second by John. Those in favor. Right. 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 Have a lovely night, everyone, and thank you. So when did you hear it?